All right, let's go. All right. Real opinions. No edits. This is the All Things Go podcast. I'm E. I'm DJ Ashmo. And we got this guy here today, man. Yes. Introduce yourself, bro. I'm on already. Artist, songwriter from B More, man. What up? Hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't say be more? No, you can say be more, but <laughs> I know y'all don't like I know they I, I heard that. No, niggas like said that you don't write your shit though. Damn. Wait, I don't. I don't. I, I I write it all. It's all in my head. It all comes out the head. So they can say if they mean that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. If they oh, mean, the yeah. if they mean that way. So it ain't yeah. that you got a ghostwriter. Nah, you, never so had. So you wrote everything. Right, everything. I don't have no ghost rides, but I don't even know any of it. Anybody? Yeah, where, where ghost in <laughs> here? Ghost in here? Fucking ghost in here? What's going on? I don't know, man. I always, I always wrote my own records from when I was fucking bullshit. I was probably, I probably wasn't bullshit, but I was there. Everybody got started somewhere. Yeah, yeah. When, when did you start? What, what started getting you into music? Because I mean. Um. My guy, one of my best friends, got me into it. You know, my man Hood, Hood, Hoodie P, okay. Hood Bangers. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy yeah. Hood. He uh, kind of like pushed me to do it. I didn't want to do it at first. Mm. I thought I was too cool for that so he shit. Seen the potential mm. in you or something? I don't or know what the, the I don't know what he's seen, yo. I mean, I know we used to do it when we were younger, like when we was mm -hmm. probably like 12, playing 13, around. just playing. Yeah. I was with my, uh, we had little groups. But we ain't had no bread to really like push out, you know, push it. So we it, it ended, and then you know, and I ain't, we wasn't even on that type of time. Like man, hood, like he he'd come outside. I see him sometime, but he was always in the, in the crib. But this this one day, yo, just like yo, yo, you should write a record about my uh, best friend Reese that got killed. Like yo, you should write a record about him. No, I ain't, ain't rapping, man. Ain't like yo, come on, yo, come on, Jordan. He got me around there. We made a record together in the neighborhood like this, so that just got me okay. going from there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how do you think that you can kind of tap into, like you said, you talked about somebody that passed away, mm -hmm. RIP them, whatever, but like how do you tap into that though? Because like did you speak from his perspective or from your perspective? Well, and then in the, in the song that we did create, it wasn't nothing about my guy. Oh, <laughs> right, it so, was like a party okay, so joint. Is, yeah, it was like a party joint. Where they do that at? It was like so, so shit like that. Where they do that at? And oh, so yeah, so it, it wasn't even about him. So like records about my God didn't come until I started like really um, getting into it. You know, okay. like you know down the line, like he might make me a record that I could you know really. Uh, Express myself on about him, you know okay. what I'm saying. So it had to be that. Like the the first record he presented me was an up tempo party joint, mm -hmm. so I couldn't say yo rest in peace to Revo, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like that. So okay, yeah. so what so made you want to keep doing it? What made me keep on doing? It? I like I I tell everybody this now because I'm more conscious of who I am now. Like at that time, I didn't have. <clears throat> sorry about that, y'all. I didn't have. Um, a purpose. Okay. I didn't have a purpose in, in the music. So I guess just having fun, uh, just the, the little notoriety I would get from the neighborhood, like mm -hmm. my own rapping, you know, my own nice, or, you know, my own could get better, or you'll go back to the lab, mm -hmm. all of that, all of those different type of motivations just kept me going until I just started to, uh, you know, uh, uh, figure out who I was and and what records really stuck, what records really meant something to the people, you know, like I started realizing who was, who was really listening and who really cared about it. So my records started changing and started being more uh, heartfelt or, or had more meaning to it. You know what I'm saying? I used to rap like the artists I look up to, you know, try to rap like Jeezy, try to rap like Gotti. Uh, Boosie, all of them, you know, just, you know, studying them guys and trying to do the same thing. But when I, I when I found my way or my wave, I just stayed there and I get the most, you know, the most love from being who I am. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that, that's that's what it was for so, me. So what song you got that you think probably like describes you as an artist? Like if somebody like. If exec came or something and it was a song. You had to pick one. Yeah, like and they be like, listen song. to this song. It's the one. This, mm. I know it's the one that you want to like. It's the one that's mm -hmm. going to make me blow. Like, listen to this one. Mm. 
Shoot, I tell you the truth, man. If I if I can be really honest, like I I I, I don't know, yo, because I got so many records, right? And right well, then, well, what's three then, nigga? And, but all right, so three, I would say. All right, let me pick three. So I would say, uh, Rags the Riches is a, is one that I got. You know, okay. um, that one where I uh, talk about you know where I coming up from the streets to me making it right um we actually did a visual on that okay it starts up uh, we are we me and the guys in the studio we're in the streets then we're in the mansion and if you look you know you can check it out on youtube it's called rags the riches featuring jiggy run the city shout out to um homie um then i got little squeegee boy mm. little squeegee boy that 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 resonates throughout yeah. our city you know Definitely. because in other um, cities as well. in other cities as well right mm. But in our city, particularly because of the the heat they were getting, mm -hmm. right? So I decided to, well, me and my guy Osei, um, who came up with the idea, he he just, you know, like, yo, yo, let's make a record about the Squeegee Boys. This is what's going on right now. So I said, okay. And I, you know, I had to think. It, wasn't, it didn't take me long, but I thought about it. And I just say, let me put myself in their shoes mm -hmm. and tell them with, and, and, and tell a story about where they're coming from or what they're going through or what they might be going through, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. that stuck right there. That, that gained attention from the news channels, the new, mm -hmm. the Baltimore Sun, um, different people reaching out to me just to play the record, just to play the video at their <laughs> events, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and people really paying me just to pay the, pay, mm -hmm. play, I'm sorry, paying me to play uh, the video at the event, so I, I that mm -hmm. that was really That's serious cool. for me, right? Yeah. So I got those two. Okay. And and I and then I would just say, uh, shoot, what else I got? Um, man. come on now, you failing, yo. Yeah, right? I, I might be, <laughs> but I'm saying like I got so many records to choose from, it's hard. But when they got me. you on the spot, like yeah. We hear it about like you, you know. Top. We think about signing you. Give us three songs. Then you have a song about right Raven, the Ravens. And yeah, I got the Ravens. Yeah, Raven, I got rap I did the Raven rap buffs, and I do got a record, but I'm featured on um, far as like the yeah. Raven as the anthem we have. But you yeah, know, I got so so. Let me just, like if I'm if so, I, I picked those two records. One that was uh, nice. uh, um, community issue, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, one that was uh, my, about my life, and then let me pick one that that just represents my lyricism. Um, Lemon Pepper freestyle, down and out. Mm -hmm. Down and out freestyle, those freestyles, if, if someone heard those freestyles, they would be like, oh, this guy really mm -hmm. can rap, oh, really nice, like, yeah. oh, he's up here, you know what I'm saying? So I would pick those records. I was just really trying to find records, or like original records yeah, that I still created. Still found a third one. Yeah, that's yeah, he did. it. He said it. Yeah, the, the, the freestyles, like, the, I, I, I made records out of them, okay, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. so if you look those up, those are also on YouTube. You can find like Down and Out freestyle, okay. um, where I talk about, this city also incorporating my life and, and my experiences in that, um, all of it. Everything I write, you're going to get something out. Of, you know, you it's, it's, everything I write, somebody's going to relate to it or feel it in a certain way, man. Because that's what I look for when I write a record. I look for uh, things that people can tap into. Like, oh, shit. Like, damn, that, that happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Or, okay. or that's what I'm going through. Or, or that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So... You see yourself as a perfectionist then? When you write your music, do it take you like you be like every nah. little detail? No, nah, I just get, get it out. I get I get I get lazy sometimes, <laughs> you know, or tired, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I might put something and then I might go back to it back, another okay. day and be like, uh, let me change this. Or I might record a record and then I'm in the car listening to it and I'm like, damn, I could have said this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like shit, you feel me? But okay. it is what it is, you know, like Somebody told me one time, like, yo, I was putting out so many records or so much music. Mm -hmm. uh, he was telling me, like, yo, you gonna, you, you gotta slow down, yo, because you're gonna run out of things to say. Yo, life is happening <laughs> oh, every yeah. day. Yeah. You know, it's all about where you put yourself or what you what you read and what you're looking at, you know, yeah. what, what you're obtaining. And then you just express how you feel about those things. So yeah. I don't believe in that. Yeah, you know we should saying? be learning every day. Right, if you're yeah. not, you're doing something wrong. Right, right. But like, in the way that rap is today, if you think like your name or your brand was more synonymous with like mm. murders, 
mm-hmm. and deaths, and this the nigga who got the bodies. Mm-hmm. Do you think you'll be further along? Hell in yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Like I had um, guys that, you know, were in my circle, or a guy that was in my circle, you know, I ain't hear from many, but I just one who would tell me like, yo, yo, you can rap about drugs, uh, cause you've been around and you can rap about that type shit, you know what I'm saying? You like, uh, you can rap about, um, I'm selling smack and shit. I'm like, no, that's not what I did. That's not what I did. So I'm not going to do that. You know, I mean, as far as like me being in a environment, in an environment, mm-hmm. cool. But me saying, yo, I sold smack or we had a hundred keys in the house. Like I wasn't mm-hmm. there, man. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? So niggas saying if you knew the niggas had a hundred keys in the house and you walk past that house. You could say you was dead. Yeah. Right. You were technically dead. Right. right. I know they had them in there. I used to walk past that shit on my route to yeah. Right. So I wasn't with that, you man. Stay true to like, Stand yeah. true to myself. Oh, yeah. And that's my motto. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, stay true to yours, mm-hmm. to yourself, to your craft, to your friends, to your family, to your fans. You know what I'm saying? Just stay true to you. Like I tell my son. What I if tr- staying true ain't the way to get to the bag? Then you don't want the, the bag? I don't want the bag. I don't want the bag. Listen, yo, I'm Other enjoying. Ways to find a bag. And listen, I'm enjoying my life every day, bro. I don't mm-hmm. rush. I work. I don't rush to Fridays. How I get mm-hmm. paid? Like yo, I can't wait to Friday, mm-hmm. man. I live my life every day, man. If I gotta pick something to do today, like if it, if it's with my son, with my daughter, with my wife, you know, with my friends, yo, like let's go do some shit, right? It ain't gotta always involve money, you know what I'm saying? Like I done had it. I done been here. I done been low. You know what I'm saying? What more can you like? You got guys that's making millions and billions of dollars that still want more billions, and you know what I'm saying? And it's not even for generational. Like some people just greedy; they just want it all to themselves. But me, no. Nah, so money ain't money ain't the top of mind. You say that now, but when you get put in a predicament, because some people will say like, "Stand true to yourself." Yeah. I wouldn't put a, a dress on, but you got all these actors out here, these male actors putting on dresses and wigs and portraying women. Right. Is it like, do you feel as though like that's something you would do like in a video? Like they want you to, you know, kind of like the baby. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, how some of his, his fucking videos be very animated. He playing characters with the big chests and all that shit. I ain't saying he put a dress on. I'm about to say, like he that. put a dress on? But, <clears throat> I mean, costumes, but no dresses, man. Like, he well, had a... He had a I'm saying, I'm talking about would you put the dress on, <laughs> Nah, 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 I wouldn't put no dress on, yo. Like... Damn, so you shaming on Martin Lawrence, Eddie Murphy... But they like actors, they what? comedians, oh, he's I'm, an artist. It's the entertainment business. It is, but... I think you should stay true to yourself. And yeah. I ain't saying he shouldn't. Everybody got to do what they got to do, but I'm just saying, niggas make different decisions when that when that bag come, huh? Like, for me, no. Nah, yeah, I'm not fooling. That's not for me, bro. Shit, nigga might hit a curl. Like, you ain't got to fold all the way, like. <laughs> so, you go, so what you mean? Like, what's the most he, like, change himself for or something? Then what you, what you mean? Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, because he married a family man, so he already got a center. But yeah. it's, it's like in marriage, you got to make sacrifices too, like you do and your wife, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So like, say if like a big artist like Nicki Minaj, she wanted to get on a track with you and you feel me? You was like, damn, I can't, I don't even know. I know that bill going to be high, but she like, no, you know, I'm feeling, I don't even, I don't want the bread. I just want the dick. Like, mm-hmm. do you feel as though your wife will make that sacrifice on uh-huh. like, that's we gonna be lit. That that was in my marriage con uh, my contract. For my, I told her like if Nicki Minaj or Megan Thee Stallion hollered at me today or tomorrow to full feature and all they wanted was the meat, <laughs> they going. It's like no. Nah. <laughs> I say that's a good contract. Like, it's like, yeah, it's like, God, nah, dang. but nah, bro. Early. I mean, mm-hmm. do you think she understand like yo, like you, you might know, not I'm even doing, do that? I'm doing this for us. Anyway. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't sexual nothing. I'm giving this Baltimore black snake. You feel me? So we can rise. You feel mm-hmm. me? How you think she feel about that? Because in marriage, you gotta make sacrifice. That's, yeah. what, that's, that's what the pastor say. 
Yeah, but but with with all due respect, man, I would never do that to my wife, yo. I wouldn't do that to you know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't even pose that question, bro. You like pose the question. Nah, I wouldn't even say like shout out to this. Good you know what I'm saying? Bro. I wouldn't do Thank that, you. bro. I mean you gotta that's what stand true it, that's what stand true to yourself <laughs> is, bro. Like yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, lot of, like. You know you how can, much a Nicki Minaj pizza probably worth? <laughs> <laughs> but you can look at a lot of, you can look at a lot of dude situations, right? Like the same way, like how you just asked me that question. And, and that's not, like, another dude might say, yeah, and might never mm -hmm. see that, that time. But he done said, yeah, he done already fainted his loyalty to whoever he was, like, if it's his wife. He said, yeah, now he ain't even get the offer yet, right? You just, Oh, so basically, if yeah. you got the offer, you might say, yeah, but you ain't no, going to say it right now. Like, that's no. what I, I, that's what I say that. Hell no, man. But I'm just saying, like, yo, you can just see, right now, that's just you testing the but waters saying, right you there. Feel, man, you testing the waters. That's a business. Mm -hmm. No, I'm business saying decision. you with the question is testing the water right there. Not, not, no. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, so she asked, y'all had to have a conversation. Oh my God! He still, man. He still, <laughs> don't man. Let it go. He don't want to let it go, yeah. Uh, anyway, speaking on family and stuff, and just like you know, your music. How do you balance that um, still with you know trying to keep up with tr like do you and do you keep up with trends like in music? Because he was talking about how you know like you got a party type music. You mm -hmm. have you know the more conscious music, mm -hmm. but like how do you kind of balance the you know your family life and then music and things like that that you may talk about in your music that may not. Yeah. You know, be more family oriented. It's kind of like trial and error. So okay. I might make a record that's cr like crazy. Like I know that my son or my daughter can't listen to, mm -hmm. and I might not ever put it out. I just no, exercise yeah, just, it. You know, okay. I just exercise my my lyricism. I just wanted to okay. do it because I felt I could do it, right? Mm -hmm. But then I might make a record that's close to the line of like, mm -hmm. yo, my my kid's gonna be like, boy, what you talking about, daddy? Or mm -hmm. they ever hit a record down the line, yeah, like, yeah, 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 you said oh, this. Yeah, my dad said this. But you know, like I, I I do when I write my records, I think about my my family okay. and my children. You know, um, you don't my, think that like hinders you? Yeah, it does. It does. But it is what it is because this is what I chose. Who you are. Yeah. And that's who I am, right? Oh, you know, that's yeah. where I'm at in my life. This is what I chose to do. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things, yo, we do, yo, you got to be conscious of that stuff because down the line, it could affect people down the line. Like, you might get You don't the, ever think, like, one day my kids going to be grown and they're going to understand why I made the decision. Yeah, but what if, what if the decision I made today hit the headlines and then I'm this big star because I said, uh, uh, I fuck bitches. I fuck mm -hmm. these whores. I fuck these bitches. I fuck these whores. And then my, my, that you ain't song. You songs like that? No, I don't have songs like that. No. Oh, okay. I, I thought you did. I probably do. Back, yeah, like back, back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. But I don't even think, like, even, even those songs, like, you had to, you had to go dig Search them up. Them. Yeah, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, that, those were before the platform. But you I mean, had now. everybody got a history, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, before you was married, you had to fuck some bitches before you found the one you really wanted. <laughs> what? Like, you ain't you ain't only been with your wife. Well, maybe you have. I don't know. That's some Indian shit, though. Mm -hmm. Nah, man, but. <laughs> so you only been with your wife? Nah, I said I'm, All right, I don't know. God. You said a little low, bro. I'm dead, all right. <laughs> but, nah, like, even like with, with that, like, I understand what you're saying, but like I say, it, it does in a way hinders me. You know when I write, but yo, know, it's so much to write about. Like you can get, you can hit big on any record, so you don't just, you don't, you don't. That's like settling, yo. Like you I'm think a, I'm the kids a, gonna care, or they gonna care more about the money? Look at the Kardashian. Mm. Like look at Kim Kardashian. She got a whole sex tape with Ray J. That everybody else is gonna know. Seeing her getting bent over, flowed and plowed. Mm -hmm. And they probably don't give a fuck like that shit in the past, but we rich. I mean, they don't have to go through that going growing up. But that's the decision she made. But look what she at now. Can you imagine Kim Kardashian, right? Her her kids in um, school saying, um, "Your mom, we seen your mom getting fucked." You know, we seen her getting fucked. We seen her sucking. Yeah, and they'd be like, like somebody came to you in school and talk about. So like I mean, yeah, I mean, okay. <coughs> you see my Bentley outside right now. I don't need a driver's license. This like, just, I, I have mean, a driver to drive my Bentley. I mean, if you if you're resilient like that, and you resilient for mm. remember back in the day, don't knock this 
this chip off my shoulder, my mama yeah. off my shoulder, right? This we getting the action. Shit out of you. you getting that action, yo. There ain't nobody talking about my mom. Like, I don't give a fuck what she talking about. That, they, they, that's a different upbringing. Like, they in the suburbs and shit. Like, you're right, you're right. You're right. You're but right. Uh, it's like Adam 22. I don't know if y'all know what Adam 22 is, it's but it's a different podcast. Yeah, his, I know his, he is. Yeah, mm-hmm. his wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a porn star. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He wow, but he in that he he in that, he he a porn star himself. Yeah. So they both mm-hmm. in that entertainment. They, they in it together, and they got, and they did some shit. Why? But they can understand pregnant. that because they both in it. So I think that's hmm. different. Yeah, they got shit. Why she was pregnant? They was doing it too. <coughs> with their kid. Yeah, with their kid. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm like, when the kid actually, well, the kid is here now. And <laughs> well, and, and the, I don't think I'm tell you what he gonna said. Go look up their parents. Like, let no, me see they're my saying other night. kids gonna look it up and show that kid. Cause that's how they is in school. You feel me? Like they mm-hmm. gonna look that shit. They gonna find it. I don't know how kids find. I mean, but how? But they it. have porn star names. I mean, I guess because you're saying they gonna see the, what they look like. But I think that would kind of be under the under the radar, maybe yeah. somewhat. Yeah, for a long time, yo, it'd be under the radar. I mean, until get high like. At least yeah, they high school where they really like stuff so quick now. I'm no, say they like do have school. access to a lot, so I mean that's what that's. He said, I, was, I was just talk, have a conversation with our daughter, and I explained to her, yeah, we did this. It's not bad, you know. That's what we did to raise you, like. And that's them. I don't know. It couldn't be me. Right. Well, I mean, it couldn't be me neither. I'm just. I'm about to say it. you. So I'm, you can. You would do that. And I'm just making an argument. You, you just, feel okay. me? I'm, I'm not biased. You ain't never think about being on porn star? Yeah, I have. I'm gonna say all them conversations we had. Yeah, hey, I, I thought about stripping and all that. Yeah. Mm, okay. big, big freak right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm lucky I, this ain't my podcast. I'll be asking his own goddamn questions, man. It's okay, all things go. Right. Ask the next question. You need to ask the same questions. <laughs> no, we interview on this guy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> on this guy. But anyway, you just um, I had a question actually too because I see like you know you kind of do stuff with the youth. So mm-hmm. you know, how, can you talk about that more of like what you do? Do you help like with youth or do you mentor them or how does that? Well, yeah. So what? Uh, it, it, for me, it's just all natural, man. If I run into a kid, I see uh, he looks like he in need or mm-hmm. or she looks like she's in need. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I'm doing at that time, I, you know, I'll stop have a conversation with him. Okay. You know, like right now, my son's um, on a basketball team right now, and I'm doing my best to be involved with all the players, you know what I'm saying? From That's the good surprise. players to the bad players to show him some games. Some look some like knowledge. he good too, yo. Yeah, he's doing okay. good, you know. He can work on some things and uh, he don't like when I be telling him, you know, the little things, but he's getting it, you know, because, you know, he's, everything I I, I try to teach him, his coach says the same thing and he'll look mm-hmm. up at me like, yeah, I did I tell you that? Right. Yeah, so I try to, I try to do that. Um, with his teammates and everything also. So okay. it's been cool, you know what I'm saying? I might be a coach one day, I don't know, man. When yeah, I'm done, I'm when I'm done with my music, too, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, this guy can really hoop, yo. He yeah. definitely got a shot. Yeah. I don't oh, know how the okay. defense is, but he can shoot. Bro. I got them strats. That's <laughs> I, got, I got them strats. <laughs> how old is your son? He's nine. Okay. Yeah, he so turned he's 10 next early. month. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. what's up. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I appreciate that because, you know, a lot of kids, we need, they just need some guidance, like, if we could just have a little conversation yeah. with them, spread a little light in their life, especially yeah. in the city, Baltimore, like people mm-hmm. coming up, they parent, you know, parents working all the time or they just don't have that motivation. I see it a lot. So thank you for doing that because mm-hmm. we, we need it out here. There's real. a lot of youngins that I would see around my neighborhood. Like I would go to the basketball court and they would come through, you know, you can tell they didn't have much mm-hmm. or they just was coming to have fun. Mm-hmm. And I would just give them all the motivation in the world. Like, yo, play. Just have fun, man. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about what others are saying. Even though, yeah. you know, it's going it's to affect hard. them. Yeah, you know, it's hard, hard to. But listen, man, I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I struggled. You know, my mom, I lost my pops at an early age. So my mom had to do what she had to do. You feel me? I, I, did, I couldn't. Uh, I was telling it, my son. I had nobody to take me to... Uh, uh, or sign me up for basketball or, you know, mm-hmm. or even come with me to the games. Yeah, like, even when I, I would hang out with my guys, if we if they're going to the gym, I'm going with them. Mm-hmm. These guys, they was nice, you know what I'm saying? Not, not I ain't saying everybody had their pops, but, you know, we all had a journey. Like, we, that was our journey, you know what I'm saying? We had to find our way. I, had, I wasn't always nice, you know, I had to learn the game on my own. Mm-hmm. I ain't had nobody coaching me, in, like, in my ear, you know, like... Yeah. 
constantly telling me the right and wrong things to do. So, you know, I done had my ups and downs. So I try to teach them that early, but you know, yeah. you gotta let them go through what they go through. Definitely. So you, you feel as Definitely. though you wanna be like the next next uh, LaVar Ball? Nah, I like La I like Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, for real? Yeah, like when he told Trey, like, what you think about? <laughs> What you talking about grandbabies for, man? Oh, you know, my. like when he told Trey, give me the fucking gun, Trey. Like you don't have to, you don't have to do those yeah, things. Huh? Yeah. Don't. And then you see it, it, down the line, Trey was taking that car right. He was hearing Furious voice. Give me the fuck. Yeah. Let, me let me out. out. Let, let, let me, me out. out. Let me out. <laughs> but real talk, man. Man, but that's okay. a movie. Lavar Ball is it's real life. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah, like. I, you know, got three sons in the league. Yeah, that's tough, mm -hmm. boy. That yes. is tough. Ooh. Yeah, so you know, I don't. Even though he had to go the other route, though. Who did the Before, father? Uh, yeah, sorry. yeah, he went and got a white woman. Oh shit. Yeah, we believe in black love. <laughs> mm. No, at least he, he all about yeah, that. Black, black love and black power. Yeah. <laughs> all my sisters out there. Mm -hmm. I love feel you like guys. it's like they you plant. Wins. It's like they plant. You know, like, like you always see these athletes, like you, like Kyrie Irving and all, and you know, you can, you can just look around at the top athletes. They got the white women and shit. Like, Kyrie yo. got a white woman? Yeah, I think so. She, she, she's white. She looked like she's white. white. Adjacent? His, his, his kid is mixed. Look oh, like he's mixed. Okay. okay. So, I might be wrong. I'm sorry, sorry. But listen, like, it's, I, I always think like they, they plant them in the draft rooms. Like, yo, just <laughs> plant them around the draft <laughs> room, like. Yeah, that you make sense. Because though. you know, like it's hard. Like yo, we Crazy. don't like you see, like and when we grow, yeah, we don't. It's no white, white people like that, like, yeah. right? So it's, it's like how, how sway? Like how the fuck did that happen? Hey man, <laughs> it's like that forbidden fruit for them. You know, yeah. I would, I wouldn't know. You think you it's like never... you think it's like a new thing for them? Huh? I was like, oh my god. Oh, that was a question. I heard it. Nah, I was I like, well, I mean, you ain't never? Never no what? No white, no white. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it was one. That's it. One? That's it, yo. Okay. At least and you got the one. You said you think about being a porn star? They love, they love the black guys, yo. Well, that would be yeah. more of a, that would be a job. Oh, right, right. Like, yeah, I'm doing right. what I got to do to get my paycheck. What, what, what would your name mm. be? Like, this me, yeah. this me, this me. Yeah, yeah, what ahead, would your name ahead. be? Man, what would my name be? I don't know, E. Hmm. Dickums? E. Dickums? Like <laughs> Hey, this yo. Is wow. E. Dickums down, down volume one. Okay, Damn. okay, can't can okay. real quick. Had <laughs> to quit. Hey, listen, y'all, y'all gonna see hey, that. Y'all gonna see that eat. run across poor one day. <laughs> y'all ain't yeah, gonna man. never see that. <laughs> but but yeah. no, let's oh stick, let's stick with the um. <laughs> <laughs> with the kids, this this is a crazy conversation we had another day. Like how you had stars that were so revered and everybody loved them, like Michael Jackson. Mm. You know how everybody just yeah. loved, mm. had the affinity for him. With y'all being um, parents, I'm not a parent mm -hmm. myself. Like, would you let your child sleep in the bed with Michael Jackson? Really? <laughs> no, that you know Michael Jackson was well, sleeping in the not, bed with kids. He's not here. Hell no, no, man. Rest his soul, but. No, I wouldn't let no man sleep with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not no man. <clears throat> let them tell her this is Michael Jackson. I don't care. I don't care who it is. I don't even like my kids sleeping with me. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard, 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 hard You got your own you got. bed. Yeah, huh? it's a hard no. It's a hard. It's a hard, definitely. All right. But would yeah. you would you let your go, your kid go to the um the the Michael Jackson Palace? Like Unattended, like oh no, she don't really go anywhere unattended. So All right, that's, nowadays yeah. this world though, like well maybe like maybe we, we looking at it from today, but yeah. like back then, back then mm. I mean I feel like I still had that same mentality, but because mm. it's still crazy people, it's just stuff didn't come out probably as much as it can now because we have cameras, we have everything is just so accessible. So basically, you saying you think might yeah. touch them kids. Nah. I really don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe um, it. I ain't saying what you want to believe. What do you believe? But I don't. I don't know. It's, it's too much speculation, right? Uh, you know, I I want to believe that he didn't. No. What do you believe? I, I don't trust the system. Man. I, I think they framed yeah, him. I think yeah, they framed him. Man. I think a lot of I things are just. I'm gonna go ahead and say, fucking you think, you Mike, think you did? Mike looked like a fucking vampire towards the end. Nigga was white and bright as shit. I think that nigga's a creep, and I think he touched them kids. He said he had a skin mm. disease, man. I he think he has some issues because we see he what Big Alago look like. 
That nigga ain't spotting. Who? I don't know. Like, Vigilago. he has some issues, though. Nigga, what? Vigilago? Oh. Skin disease that uh, like Kyle Kuzma girl I got. Thought Michael changed it. I thought he wanted to change his yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah. He wanted to be well, white. He said it he, probably he protect him from this. fucking. He he, that's what he said. Kid. He told Oprah that. He told Oprah oh, I had a skin, skin disease so. that I can't control. Yeah, all right. Mm. He said we know we couldn't control. Think about, he, said, we, he said what you think about all these right, other people on the on on the. On the beach, uh, getting tans, yeah. trying to look darker than they are. Nigga, man. Y'all don't have nothing to say Michael about him. Michael didn't have to change, though. He looked right. fine the way he was. He ain't like the skin he was in. That yeah. was the problem. But I think that came from a lot of things that he went through as a kid. They started out so early in that industry, and yeah. his father, he I mean, have you know, a it was a lot. And that hurt he went people through. hurt people. He didn't have a childhood. Yeah, he didn't really. Yeah. Right. So you think you you think in those kids he saw his childhood like in those kids. I think like, in those kids he saw his his lovers and victims. This guy's mm. crazy. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me then if you don't want my truth, bro. Like it's that's okay. Funny. It's okay. Well, you know, we call truth crazy a lot, so it might be the truth. Hey, hey it might be the truth. It might be a lot. It's a lot of know. stuff in that industry. You know that um. That's that's crazy that we may not know about, or you know they have conspiracy theories, which that word was made up. But yeah, um, anyway, you gonna stay away from that, right? Yeah. You focusing on what you got being right. positive and bringing right, bringing right. like you know more conscious, I guess thought. Yeah, how do you? So what do you do? You bring more conscious thoughts to life. Like how do you write? Like how do you get your inspiration? I know you, of course, you go through things and stuff like that, but like. You know, I mean, I know I think it, it's a craft. Like, I don't know how y'all do it. Y'all just start yeah. writing and just, I don't I don't know, rhyme and all that. It's, it's crazy. It's the instruments for me. It's like the mm-hmm. beat. The beat got to be mm-hmm. a, a good record, a good beat. Like a vibe kind of, and then you can kind of feel from that. Do you get So you get the beat first, and then you write? Yeah, that's okay. what I did, yeah. Okay. I used to, back in the day, you know, when, you, when, you, when beats weren't as accessible as they are mm-hmm. now, yeah. you would write. Out of thin maybe air, like, yeah, make maybe, up shit, and yeah. then try to find a beat that fits your word. Yeah, I always thought how that worked too. But yeah. but now it's like since they send me records all the damn mm-hmm. time, yo, and it's just like I, I yo, like I'm one of them artists that people hear my music or see what I what I what I've done, mm-hmm. and they just send me records just off off of that. Okay, you know, and want to work with me. From that, and I, okay. I would love to work with you know as many producers as I can. Okay, and, so you like them because some people don't like that. You know, they yeah. like to just stick with one, but you like to yeah, be diverse, it, you get different sounds. Yeah. Would you okay. work with like a um, a rock artist? Yeah. Or a country, or you yeah. just want to stay hip hop? So you yeah. you okay. you open to work with all different genres. Yeah, I'm a writer, man. Okay. I'm talking about you go as far as people? being on a track, my bad. Yeah. I would ghost writing written for people. You have, you have okay. Know. I I was I was um ghostwriting for this one cat and and it wasn't even like I was gonna write him records like he could you know have for himself and they'd be always his records like if they okay. blow like yo this your record okay. but he would send me beats of like industry beats okay like you know like people done already did in the industry uh-huh. oh and I would just write a verse and a hook. I was charging him a, a little fee, but it wasn't a big fee because I already knew, like, you know, the, the record wasn't going to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Right? It, it'd get him some I mean, far as you know. I mean, mm-hmm. like, I mean, like, far as him making money. Oh, because of the beat. He yeah, did. yeah, yeah. You oh, won't get no money from that. You yeah. won't get no, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, but if it was, if it was original, if I'm mm-hmm. going to give you the beat or if you got a beat that's original, I'm going to want the, the writer's credit. Mm-hmm. You know, I wouldn't want, you know, then y'all wouldn't be hearing about this. You know what I'm <laughs> right. But, like, the Lord, like, I've done stuff for a lot of, for different, a lot of different people. Like, people that y'all don't, that won't, won't even hear about. Like, y'all might hear about on one day, but, like, songwriters or bands, they wanted me to write records and perform with them. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. So, I, I've done that, too. So, that, that was cool. Like, those experiences were a blast. Yeah. I would do like I love live performance yeah, okay, with live the band dance, yeah. where I got mm-hmm. some people That's in the dope. back and I can I look like back that. and say yo mm-hmm. y'all doing y'all fucking thing mm-hmm. yo let's keep this shit it's rocking. a different vibe than just like the, the DJ just playing your instrument and then you look out you know in the mean? crowd and everybody enjoying it like I can take a break and let them do their thing mm-hmm. 
you can just live in that shit, yo. Like, it's not just rap your song. That's what I mean by when you don't have the music behind it or mm-hmm. the, the, you know, the, um, the your, backtrack. The backtrack. Mm-hmm. Just the instrumental. You can do what you want. You can start over. Like, if I fuck up, uh, run that back, yo. Mm-hmm. Right, because you ain't got the words saying right. the correct shit behind yeah, yeah, you. Everything, exactly. everything so becomes a part of the show. What is it? Um, Improvise, kind of? Mm-hmm. Like, you mm-hmm. can improvise and, yep. Mm-hmm. So, would you work with, like, a heavy metal? type of band like yeah yeah i'm yeah. saying far as like you would do a track with them like do they thing oh, and they give you a verse yeah mm-hmm. yeah so if a nigga ain't doing all that shit yeah, you just come <laughs> yeah moan uh buddy hey, yep yeah, I, 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 I love to hear that because that shit that's because well, you know um, it, it uh it strengthens you it um helps you be more creative you know it, it gives you i new. just want to see how it even Jay- like how y'all make it fit with <laughs> them screaming and all the, that um, you know, um, Jay Z and um, but that it? wasn't really Jay-Z heavy and metal who? though. Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. That yeah. wasn't heavy I mean, metal. It was though. rock, but okay. I'm talking about the niggas heavy who scream. Heavy metal. Screaming. That be like, oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, like that shit. Like, yeah, I think, think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know how good of a song it would, it'll make. Yeah, you could maybe make something into that because they could kind of be a part of like the beat, you know? Cause yeah, they got the yeah. band and they could be like a little mm-hmm. bit with the beat. And it would be kind of loud, top. so you yeah, got to be like, like weird though. Yeah, I just want to know how it will sound like, cause you come in all mellow and shit, and they were <laughs> screaming the whole track. <laughs> like I don't know, yo, that shit will probably be all right though. Mm-hmm. Cause I listen to a hell of music, man. So you, you listen, listen to, to heavy metal? metal? Some of it, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you, you gotta put crazy? me on. No, no, I don't go you, li- you listen to that? Um, you know, I be I, I do a lot. I'm driving, so like snort a lot. Okay, shit. so you yes. <laughs> So you like go through the radio stations you saying? No, you like when, when you new music Spotify? when new music come out on Friday, I be with title. So I just download a bunch of different shit and just listen to it. Like I ain't, okay. I, ain't I don't. I do if, that if too. If they cover look yeah. crazy sometimes, mm-hmm. niggas be having crazy looking covers. I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, what the fuck could you be? How can your music be? So can the be, covers yeah. do get me sometimes. Oh, okay. like yeah. with niggas with with okay. a face with no eyeballs, with a tongue sticking out, shit like that. Hey, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Now I done found some good music. I done found a lot more trash, but I found some good music. Well, okay. trash in my opinion, though. Right. You know? Okay. Yeah, because everybody got their own, you know, spin on music and what they like. Who's your favorite? Like, who do you look up to as far as, like, in the industry or even whoever, local people, like, like who I like, influences you? Damn, there's a lot of them. My, one of my favorite artists of the day is Kodak Black, man. Okay. I well, like you know, Black. Kodak. <laughs> that that's get him black, get him black. Yeah. But because like yo, when you listen to him and you and you and you look at him, like you can tell him he doing what he want to do. He having mm-hmm. fun. He speaking how he want to speak, and the shit ain't trash. His shit is yeah. Angry. I did downplay him. And that's his before. lingo. That's his lingo. So <laughs> yeah. you, when you can understand his lingo and mm-hmm. you can, you know, you can figure out, you know, like yo, this guy is really talented, man. Yeah. Like he got and a lot of features. It's yeah, crazy does. too when you look at him. It's just he, I can't take him serious. Like I just feel like he just look funny. Yeah. Crazy. But, he had me but, rolling. Yo, I listen to all like all your shit, yo. Um, no, he got some. But on music. a serious note, like he he's one of my what I would say is um, one of them artists that if I want to just listen to um, niggas rap and. Um, be to say what the fuck they want to mm-hmm. say and he fucking like that's you know one of them okay but if i'm really listening to for motivation or be mm-hmm. um for knowledge or information or just just to, uh, like these guys are very creative that's j cole that's kendrick lamar like you just listen to their records like they might start this way and finish a whole yeah. different way It'd be like damn yo how the fuck these boys be coming up with this mm-hmm. shit not the biggest cole fan but go ahead and Drizzy, he won um, Lil Wayne. He always been one of my favorite, mm-hmm. even though he that had that one, like that, that span where it was just like nothing from Run- Wayne for real. I mean, it probably was mm-hmm. something, but it wasn't just. It wasn't, it wasn't Wayne. That. It wasn't Wayne. Yeah, yeah. And just hearing him now, like coming back and just hearing mm-hmm. him now, like, but, damn, yeah. Wayne, yeah. yeah. I didn't think he was going to be able to come back like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, he came back like he never left. Yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, so Weezy. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? I listen to a lot of music, man. Mm-hmm. I got a big playlist. Okay. I just put on. I like I like R&B a lot, for real. R&B gives me that other side, like where I can mm-hmm. make records, like any type of records, like y'all saying. Like, um, like when I listen to 
them people sing because they got messages in their music and they got mm-hmm. different type of inspiration. You can't even mix the R&B yeah. with the rap. They be they having bars. Away now. I think they got better lyrics than the rap, but yeah, yo, some of they be having bars. One thing, one record I took to the lab this past week is um, "Bad Habits" by Steve Lacy. Mm, I wish I knew you was me. I, I wish I knew. I wish I knew what you do. That's what you do. do. Yeah. It's like yo, everybody, it's trending. It's oh, it trending. is. But, yeah. but it's like they put a drill. They put a drill beat behind it yeah. on TikTok. Yeah, but oh, I, okay. yeah, but I listen to the real record. It ain't drill. It's like yeah, a it's, real it's chill. It's pop, nice vibe. Uh, pop yeah, it's pop. That one. Oh, really? Because you're oh, maybe, looking it up. You maybe y'all did. just did a bad rendition of it and I couldn't mm-hmm. catch the vibe from y'all. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. everybody yeah. hear it. Like, every, a lot of people know that. Like, my, yeah, everybody mm-hmm. know that song. I took that to the lab all week. Yeah. But no, I really think that, like, so do you have any records where it's like an R&B um, hook and then you rapping? Yeah. Because yeah. I think that's good. Like, they don't do yeah. that that much no more. Like, I mean, Meek Mill, I know he did it a little bit with the um, LMA and yeah. stuff like that, Chris Brown. But, like, I feel Yo, like they took. Chris Brown, was, he was go-to to put on a hook. Yeah, put Him on a Neo. hook. Him and Neo. Mm-hmm. I have a record with um, Lish the Earth Angel. Y'all okay, had her yeah. On. Yeah, I have a record with her. Okay. I actually want to re-record it because what we went. Oh, so you ain't dropped it yet? Nah. We I'm like, I ain't hit. I, I, I ain't want to say it. Like, I, I don't know the nigga music. I ain't, nah, nigga I music. ain't drop it because like, I ain't the, um, where we recorded that wasn't it wasn't mm-hmm. good. So I'm thinking about bringing her in soon just to just Definitely re-record sure. that joint. But I got a couple records with uh, my man Big O. He sings. Okay. Um, we actually got this record that um, it's on. Uh, um, he tastes. No. Like candy. No, not that. Saying? Oh, okay. Like candy. The, the the original. Like candy. Yeah, that that oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. All right, oh, so. Oh, candy, candy. Yeah, right. yeah. So, so we got we got a record that's uh, it's I think it's slowed down. It's slowed down. Yeah, and, um, that. it's and it's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. We thinking about making it a gospel record, actually. A gospel. What? Oh, okay. So you gonna get into gospel? Yeah, that's like that's the that's the first record I wrote. That's the first that's the first record I wrote like that. It's probably gospel. No, I don't, I don't, you nothing. But is that Lord? But 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 the, somebody I let listen to it was like, yo, this sound like a gospel record, yo. You can just you try man, to push Kurt it to the Franklin it got I don't, bangers. Yeah, he do, but I don't. He definitely got bangers. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, picture, I bumped that like, a lot. Like day, I'm going where you want. Yeah, like it's gospel tough. though. It's tough, yo. It's tough. It's just it's using tough. that beat, right? You saying? It's, you saying? it's a sample. Sample. From the beat. Yeah, okay. A sample yeah. From the beat. okay. And it's it, it sounds I, like it, but it's slowed down. Yeah, like, it's just a different samples tempo. you can you can manipulate them. Yeah, forever. and really it's dope, man. Stuff up. Yeah, make it I seem different. I wrote the different. whole record. That's tough. And it's crazy. Like even when he's singing. Oh, you wrote um, his singing part too. Yeah, like that's what I do. Okay. Like even with Lish, like with her part, like I write, I wrote the how I how you want it sung. She, how I want it sung, right? Okay. I'm a well, well. I let her do her thing, you know. But mm-hmm. I I just wrote the lyrics. I I gave her a reference. Okay. For real, but and okay. then she just do her thing. So did she added any like words and shit to it or? Uh uh-uh, uh, she okay. probably just you know just did her ad libs, you know like. This nigga talking all the writing and all that. Yeah. And did it? Is you want rap for us though, bro? If you want? <laughs> get, can we get something? Huh? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got okay. a piece for y'all, man. Like um, and this um, this something real. All right, right, be, like yeah. It's like, you know, like, hey, Jake, one of my favorite. Now, this record ain't even out yet, but it's one of my favorite, though, right? Because it's really, it really touches on, like, shit I've been through. Another thing, right? So it goes like, um, living like a villain, I knew I would make a killing. Insufficient funds. Remember back when we were stealing, trying to make it home before we end up in a prison. We told them we was poor, but ain't nobody wanted to listen. Running home crying because somebody took your money. Mama said, I bet not let nobody take it from me. I was always hungry, always in and out the fridge. Not saying I was starving, lift my shirt, you see my ribs. <laughs> Laughing about it now, but at the time it wasn't funny. Thinking to myself about how I'm going to make some money. Me and Cousin Body, we was out there burning junkies. Didn't know what I was doing. I was out there like a dummy. I remember it like yesterday. I wish my cousin wore a vest that day. Auntie poured the plug, ain't one of them living in a veggie state. Was afraid to die, but I guess I feel it less today. Yeah. That's right, right, you, bro. Right. you feel me? Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Mm-hmm. 
I had one one of my favorite like cousins. I grew up with, well, he was older than me, and I used to love hanging out with him around the avenue, and he was out there doing his dang trapping. And then this one, like, as I was got, got older, I'm, I'm, you know, growing into a young man, I'm working at the time, and I was coming home from work one day, and he was like a smart, he was a smart dude, yo, and I couldn't believe this happened to him, and he got tricked out of his life. Mm. But he was, um, I, I was coming home, my grandfather, I used to live with my grandfather, funny old man. He say, uh, uh -huh. he say, Moan is, uh, is, is Michael, is Michael dead? Right? But yeah. I'm thinking he's saying was Michael here. Like, that's what I heard. Was uh -huh. he here at our house? I'm like, hold on. I ran upstairs, make sure uh -huh. all my shit was in the room. Because, <laughs> you know, if he was here without right. me knowing, he might have came and grabbed, uh -huh. grabbed some shit. Now I ran back downstairs. Like, what you say? He said, is Michael dead? And I'm like, What? And he got killed in front of Santa Maria's. Oh. Somebody shot him in his head and, you know, um, shot him in his back, stood over top of him. But mm. he actually survived it for a while. Mm. And the doctors say that he would have been blind in the eye. I think he got shot somewhere, he'd have been blind in the eye, but he bled to death from the shot in his back. Mm. And he was my, yo, know, one of our, me and my brother, one of our favorite cousins, yo, know, growing up. And one of, you know, Somebody that I was real close to because I would hang out with him. I ain't never sell drugs. I would just be out there with him. And I would be a I would, I would be tempted because he they was making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And he always be like, nah, yo, just chill, yo. Like, you can go with me. Like, he'd take me to the mall with him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, take me down molds and shit. Like, just giving me the experience. Uh -huh. You feel me? So, he taught me a lot. And that was one of my big dugs. So, I just, you know, like when I wrote that record, I just think like sometimes, yo, like you don't, it just come out of nowhere. Like you, I start thinking about him in that record. I wasn't writing that record about him, but it just came to me. Yeah, oh so. yeah, did you ever write the record about the guy who had made you? Yeah, is that him? Yeah, or I wrote, no, that was somebody different. That was somebody like, different. Okay. So my my but best you, friend Reese, I wrote a record okay, about Reese. him. That's actually on YouTube, and um, okay. it's acapella. Oh. Tell you okay. about that. Tell you about that night that it happened and, mm. and his mom, like at the end, it was like a, a real sad part, like at the end of it, his, um, we was all down the hospital, like 11, like 12 o'clock. I think he died at the scene, but they didn't tell us. So we went to the hospital and we was waiting and waiting. Maybe they was trying to resuscitate him. I don't know. They ain't never give us the details. But just to hear his mother's um, cry coming from the back, she went to see him, and she was like, "My baby gone," and it, she was like real loud, like it was like, "Damn," you know what I'm saying? It was like one of them things that it was hard to, Jesus, yeah. Yeah, bro, Sorry you making that. this shit like real sad, yo. Oh my bad, no, no, my no, bad. you but good, but hey, but okay. yeah, but yeah, but that's 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 people. something that's something I experienced and we experienced. Yeah, but. You know, I'm guessing, you know, that made you stronger, you know, yeah. you, you using that as a, you know, mm -hmm. not a crutch, but something to really build on and then bring that legacy. So not yeah. to mention if he, you know, looking down on you now and I bet he proud. Yeah, yeah that's my man. Yeah. I don't know. I'll be always thinking about him like when I be, um, yeah, I, I always think about this. Like, I hate this, yo, like feeling like, like when I want to go do my own thing, like. You know, when I want to jerk off and shit, I always think about they be looking down on me and shit. You think that? You think that's real? I don't know. I be thinking that shit sometimes too. You think they're like, you be like, yeah. yo, what the fuck, yo? I hope, I hope they ain't looking down on you. Like how you saying that? Oh, so that's why I don't like that looking yeah, down. Yeah, I don't like yeah. that. I don't like <laughs> I that. Love it. I thought that shit too, yo. Yeah. So I wanted, no, yo, no, actually no. with that last part. I wanted to take it from sad to funny, yo. That's oh, like, all right. Okay. No, all right. Oh, you yeah. want serious? <laughs> oh, because I was serious. <laughs> Man, fam, like, I wanted my nigga be looking down mm -hmm. like, damn, yo, you, you still like these little skinny bitches. Yo, killing himself every day. Look, he killing, he killing himself again. He doing it again. Hey, hey man. Sometimes you oh got, you got a stroke. But, um. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, yeah I, I, I think, is there anything else you want to tell the people, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I would love, uh, thanks, y'all, for um, having me. Um, Already. But, thank you for coming, man. Oh, you got right. it. Um. But I have a new single, two new singles. Okay. You guys can go check out right now, streaming on all music platforms. One is Tis Be The Season, featuring okay. my guy, Young Apple. I got okay. the visual out now, and I just released earlier this week my record card today. Visual coming soon. 
today. Okay. So y'all go check those two out, download them, put them in y'all playlist. I right. ask you, please, man. Yeah. Thanks for the love and support. I appreciate y'all. So is, is this Beezer season like a Christmas type of? No, nah, we just. It's not. It's not Christmas, but. I know, it's about I know I heard it. I was it's saying. Gotta, it's, got, it's gotta. It's gotta. Yeah, okay. It's gotta. It's just be the season. So that's one of them gutter records I wrote. You know, I, I kind of tap in sometimes with mm -hmm. where I came from. You know what I'm saying? So. Got you. Yeah. All right, well. All, right. all things go podcast. Moan already. Already. Ashmo. We out, man. Already. Thank you. <laughs>